Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Hi, I'm Lynetta. And I'm Patrick. And we are co-founders of Vertical, Vertical Connections, Connections Inc. Inc. Oh, what a great day. Awesome. Today's service was full of good nuggets, juiciness. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I just love the feeling that anytime we're done with the service or after we're leaving the building and we're sharing with others that have either come with us or ridden with us or we're going out with, that they just feel the same thing we do and that, oh, we were filled with the Lord's word and blessings. And we just came out of there happy today and just feeling really good about what we heard the pastor talking about. You know, I think it's always so important that we're looking at all the positives and blessings that we have that we get from that come from serving absolutely and what as we're serving uh we're sharing of that joy we're sharing that laughter mm. we're sharing encouragement to help others feel the same way so they can mm -hmm. multiply that absolutely and our message today from uh church was the advice to maturing Christians. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, wow, hmm, that's pretty powerful in itself. Absolutely. And the advice that we got was to go to the word first. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of biases. We hmm. have our different cultures that we come up in, different things that we do, and we expect other people to do exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. not the way it's supposed to be. No. And that's hard for me, I know that. <laughs> I think that's hard for all of us. I like that. Yes, because we know that we have the freedom to make our decisions. Mm -hmm. He's given us that freedom. And yet I think we need to always remember that with that freedom does come boundaries. Yes, boundaries are important. Mm -hmm. And we base our boundaries off of what is written. And so if by doing that, we still see that there are way more yeses than knows in the Bible. Absolutely. I do remember growing up, and I grew up in church, and it was seemed like it always was, don't do that, don't do this, don't hmm. do that, don't do this. And I'm just like, oh, I just can't wait to get out of this house so I can do my own thing. Right. And lo and behold, all the don'ts that I decided to do, <laughs> just to say I told you so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice. Well, we know that. Being sensitive to others just means that we all are going to be accountable one day to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And really, that's the only person that has to do any of the judging. So we just continue to remember that and let that carry through each of our interactions with others and within ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, And I still think we need to play a part, because it is in the Bible, as older women and older gentlemen to help the young men grow or help mm -hmm. the show the young ladies the right way to go making sure it's biblical and not mm -hmm. based on our bias or our preferences, preferences. Mm -hmm. yes absolutely. i agree well i know that with our decisions that we always have to make sure that we surround ourselves with right-minded people as well and those people that have the same type of concepts or mindsets that we do just because it helps build us, helps to allow us to grow and become stronger in ourselves. And so like today's fellowship, we got to go to brunch <laughs> with some dear friends. And that was so special because we got to introduce some new individuals to each other. Mm -hmm. And we also got to share in a lot of the word and then just also what was going on in their lives and just what was making them feel fulfilled right. and it really made a difference i think yeah. not only for them but for us yes it's i like spontaneous lunches mm -hmm. <laughs> today was a good one of those yeah so yes. unplanned and yet turned out perfectly yes it did mm -hmm. so i guess i would i would like to close or look at Galatians 5.13, and I'm just going to take a moment to read it because it's so powerful, and yet it, it pertains directly to exactly what we've been talking about in the last few videos about service. So in Galatians 5.13, it says, For you were called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Yes, through love. And we find out the true love 
by mm -hmm. reading the word of God that he has provided for us to love our neighbors and to not have any other idols before us, but only worship him and mm -hmm. learn from him and share all the goodness that he has given to us, allowing mm -hmm. us to have a lot of freedoms. As you said, there are more yeses mm -hmm. than noes. Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you, sir. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.